Welcome back to Deluxe Guitar Songs. Today we are going to do a guitar tutorial for Unfailing Love by Chris Tomlin with a capo on the first fret. The song starts off, strumming that G. C, G over D, A minor. And so that G, standard G major. So you have your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, your index finger on the second fret of the A string, your ring finger and your pinky finger on the third fret of the B and, B and E string. C. Ring finger on the third fret of the A string. Middle finger on the second fret of the B string. Open on the G string. Index finger first fret on the B string. Yours. G over B. And all you did right there was just you took your middle finger and your ring finger off and you just put your ring finger or your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. That's a G over B. Forever. A minor. Middle finger, ring finger, second fret on the D and the G string. Index finger stays on the first fret of the D string. And then you play that again. G. That was a G, a D, to an E minor. That's just your middle finger and your ring finger on the second fret of the A and the D string. Beautiful. So that's a D and C. Back to a D. And you never change God. Just to go through that again, um, it starts off with the G. Let's play it slowly together. C, G over B, A minor. G. C, G over B, A minor. Chorus. G, C, G, D, G. So it repeats that same rhythm for every verse and chorus throughout the whole song. So I hope that helped you out right there. I'm gonna pick up the electric guitar right now and show you that little melody that you're hearing in the chorus a little bit. Okay, so the little guitar melody you hear right in the chorus where he says, I can't understand, you'll hear this little guitar melody come behind. I know it's on the first chorus and then it plays it a couple other times throughout some of the other choruses, so put it in wherever you feel like it. We're up here on the 12th fret of the G string, the 11th fret on the B string, 13th fret, 11th fret. 12th fret back on the G string, 13th fret on the G string, 13th fret on the B string. So 
So just slide up from eight to 10 on the G string. So I hope that gave you a little insight on what you're doing right there on the lead guitar part for this song. It's pretty simple. Just uh, find a nice little reverb delay you like to play around with. I'm playing with a Boss RV3 reverb delay pedal on my Box AC30 on a nice Fender Stratocaster here. So I hope you enjoyed this guitar lesson today. And please come back, like, subscribe, and share. And we look forward to seeing you again.